I had no real sense of direction. I worked at a bar. I didn't set goals for myself that went more than a month out, and I wouldn't let anyone get close to me. My family always supported me no matter what I was doing, but I didn't really feel like I deserved it. I still felt like I needed to change my life, and I, uh, I joined the Coast Guard. This is gonna sound dumb, but I didn't know that boot camp was hard, like really hard. So I felt like I was dying inside and I was starving for affection. I don't know what I would have done without the letters from my family. My mom was the first person I ever met, <laughs> but also who I wanted to hear from the most. When I got her letters, I was relieved. Here's something that my mom said. Dear Marissa, I'm sorry to hear that you are miserable at boot camp. I think the lonely part must be the worst, frowny face. I pray that you have a friend. Oh my gosh, and this one, she sent me a Bure nose strip. I didn't have time to use it. We have been waiting anxiously to hear from you. Hang in there. By the time you get this, you will have only a few more days. My dad was probably my biggest cheerleader. He was the one who swore me into the Coast Guard. I knew I couldn't give up because of him. I want to encourage you not to let this get to you. You have worked through tough situations before and you will work through this also. Baby girl, I want you to remember some things that will make it easier to get through. Learn to find joy in the simple things. If you are getting smoked early in the morning when the sun is coming up, still soak in the beauty of the sunrise. If you get to walk into an air-conditioned room, even if it is only for a moment, enjoy that moment. This is not the time to ease up. You need to double down and even try harder. I remember boot camp, airborne school, and ranger school when soldiers would ease up thinking they had it made and would do something stupid and get recycled. I wanted to make my brother proud. I didn't get any letters from him because he's in the army and stationed in Korea, but I would still get some updates from the family. My sisters are my best friends. When Joanna would write me, she would make me laugh so hard that I would be in tears. Hello, Marissa. It's Joe. I just ate a bagel on this napkin. I was thinking of you, so I decided to write you on it. She sent me funny stories from home in almost every letter, but the thing that really got me was that she printed out memes to send me like she used to do on Instagram, so I would get the most ridiculous memes in photo form, and it killed me. Bob is my baby sister. She always tried to make me smile and laugh with her letters, too. Dear Marissa, you are my cheeseburger. P.S. Beware of sparkles. Dear sister, I believe it was two days after you left, your pup thought it would be fun to play near the men fixing the septic tank. My niece, Fern, was too small to write but I still got plenty of updates from the family. Fern is still a little baby, but she can now crawl and follow me from room to room. It's pretty cute. Fernie is doing good, almost eight months old. She fell asleep standing up the other night. I was letting her cry it out, and she fell asleep, arms folded, standing up, leaning against her crib. It was so cute, but really sad. I know at least Fern and I have grown a lot since then. I was selected for a commissioning program after I joined the Coast Guard, so I'll be heading to OCS next summer and getting more letters from the family, I have no doubt. And Fern can almost read. One more time, what does this say? Melissa. So hopefully by the time I get to OCS, she'll be writing me too.